Hello, this is uh, Stephen Espino, and this is uh, my screencast of this website. I chose Quia.com, www.quia.com, and today I'm going to be exploring IXL. So I'm going to hit visit IXL here, and this tool is basically about, um, to sum it up, uh, practice makes perfect. It's all about thousands of questions that this tool um, provides you in these four specific learning subjects, math, language arts, science, and social studies. Um, uh, before I go into it, I just want to uh, talk about the one limitation that this tool has, and that is basically to gain full access to this, you have to um, have a membership, which is $10 a month. However, um, if you don't want to sign up for the membership fee, can actually access this website in a limited version which is basically means you are limited to I believe 10 questions daily um, so we're gonna go in language arts here I'm gonna show you how this tool works uh, this basically you go into each uh, subject area you want to learn about or teach and from here as you can see we can now choose um, any grade level from a uh, pre-k kindergarten, first grade, all the way down to 12th grade here. And for the purpose of this presentation, I'm going to choose, let's uh, let's choose 8th grade. So we're in 8th grade language arts here. And now from here, you see we have um, dozens of subtexts here. We have uh, commas, vague pronoun references, analogies. Basically, these are all subjects that you would uh, typically learn about or teach around 8th grade. So, um, Let's go into uh, commas here. Commas with series, dates, and places. And you're going to see here how this tool works. It's basically just provides you with Sierra here, asks you if you want to sign up, and if you don't, you just hit this X button right here. So now we have access to the uh, to the question. And this is the meat of this tool here. Is basically it shows you these basically example questions that adhere to the uh, Common Core curriculum in the uh, country, which I feel is a huge benefit to this tool. Um, and up here it tells you um, the directions of how to answer the question, correct the text by inserting two commas. This is the statement that it gives you, and you have to insert the commas here to uh, correct the sentence. So let's see if I can get this one right. While lost at sea, the fishermen survived on turtles, fish, and birds. So I'm going to put one here, and put one here. And then you hit submit when you're done, and it told me good work. And now it just pumps out another question at me. And I'm going to show you what happens when you get one wrong. And it tells you again, correct the text by inserting two commas. So I'm just going to insert one. I'm going to get the question wrong here. Confirm, submit. And it tells you you're wrong. And this is one of my favorite parts about this tool is that it actually will break down the question and explain to you how to answer correctly, how commas are used correctly. It gives you examples here. And it's like this for every uh, subject area. And this is also, I think this tool is really good for a quick assessment in the classroom if you're a teacher. You can pull this up in the classroom uh, using the internet. You don't need to sign up for the membership, even though I believe $10 a month, it really isn't that much money. Especially, this is, I, I feel like this is such a great tool for, like I said, quick assessment. You're, you're going to show these um, thousands of um, questions to your class and you get you'll be able to get quick responses from your students whether or not they know the subject material and like I said and I believe this is actually even targeted I think for the elementary grades or, or middle school it's it's a I think it's a fun interactive way to engage the students in this um, and I, I guess that that's really about it and one more thing to um, I guess this is somewhat of a limitation for this tool is you can't download it on any apps it's not available for the iOS or the Android it's just something that you can pull up on like your laptop or a PC desktop and um, I guess with that being said that's about it for this uh, screencast thank you for tuning in and until next time I'm Steven Espino and this is uh, IXL thank you very much